What's up, everybody? Y'all probably don't know. You, it looks strange to me because I'm on camera. It's probably the first time y'all gonna see this. But today we are actually here at my local Barnes and Nobles on like the first episode of just visiting different bookstores in uh, my local area. And we're here in Barnes and Nobles. We're gonna do a manga shopping video, man. Shout out to my cameraman, bro. We finally got set up, so that's what we're gonna do, man. Uh, yeah, it's mad hot outside. It's, it's Florida, man. So I'm trying to get inside real fast and let's, let's get into it, man. Y'all know how it is. Let's go. We try to not talk too loud and stuff, but we actually in the store. Um, this Barnes and Nobles, like first glance, you can look at it. The manga section isn't as big, you know, but I still see some art. Just looking at it, I seen some good selections already. So, yo, we're gonna check it out, man. We're gonna look at them, see if we can find something that we enjoy. See, try to get some uh, pickups that I need and try to find something that I want to start and stuff like that. And, um, and then there was some stuff down there. I think it was like some comics, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little comic enjoyer, so we'll check that out too. So, come on, let's go. I'm not a light novel reader though. Alright, so also like some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not. I don't know if I've done a video before, but when it comes to the anime, I'm not as big of a JoJo fan, you feel me? But the manga, you know I wanna do I do kinda wanna try it, you feel me? I think we may be picking up JoJo today. I'ma put it in, I'm gonna put it in the bin just to see. I can't confirm it. Cause I wish I would pick up all three volumes of the first part if they have volume two. I don't know. They don't got volume two. But we're gonna pick up JoJo's today. Alright. Some people been telling me JoJo's good. We're gonna I believe you. I mean we're gonna check it out, man. We're gonna check it out. And also, when we looking at like the thing is, like when they have the full stuff at Demon Slayer, alright. So my recommendation to a lot of people when they're trying to get into like like manga like Demon Slayer, manga like One Piece, Naruto, Bleach and all that. Get the box set. It's much cheaper. I'm doing y'all a favor, man. Write this down. Get the box set. Never just like with volumes like this. Never just go and get like single volumes. A bunch of don't do that. You're saving. You're gonna save your money by buying a box set. You're gonna save a lot of money. And you get the whole thing at one time instead of having to like oh now I go back to the store and pick it up. So that's what I recommend y'all. Let's see what we got today. Let me get right here. So they don't got volume five, they do have volume six, but I'm not a I'm not the type of person that like dips into like what ahead of what I'm reading. So what else? Get the North Star volume three. I wanna get if I haven't even finished volume two that I got yet. So I don't wanna I can't I can't do it. I gotta finish volume two that I may come back for that. It, it's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little classic, so. Okay. I want a volume four for metal. They don't got that. That's cool though. Hold on, this this is Ghost in the Shell. This is one of the um, more popular mangas that made anime in the West more um, more popular and stuff, and it made it more normalized. So that's pretty fine. Um, 
watch the anime though. I'm not too interested in reading the manga, but maybe one day we'll see. I heard some stuff about Geek Hitman. Um, I don't know if it's a pickup today though. It has great art though. The artwork looks pretty amazing. Um, shout out to the author, uh, Kodai. Amazing artwork. I will give him that. I don't know about the story though. Everybody that has not been reading Chainsaw Man, and let me tell you, man, I got all 1 through 11 in Chainsaw Man, it's fire. Look, the anime, I know it was, it, the anime was good, I'm not gonna lie to you, the anime was still good, I wish they would adapt it at least 12 more episodes instead of making just the first part, but it was cool though. Um, volume 12 is coming out later this year, so I'm ready for Volume 12, because I've, I've been I've been trying not to read digitally, I like to read the manga physically, so volume 12 drop best believe that's the first that's how we're gonna be the first why it's gonna go crazy okay so that's good so i'm not you know i used to come in here looking to buy chainsaw man but not today but something i do notice though is die dark i heard about this what is this volume two let me see if they got a volume one let's see volume two volume five don't see a volume one, and I'm kind of mad because I wanted to get Die Dark. I've watched a few reviews on it, people talked about it, a few recommendations on it. That was something I wanted to get. Um, I only see one, I see two, three, and four, and five. Maybe it could be, you know, sometimes you find hidden manga that just be misplaced, so it could, that could have been the case. But I'm kind of mad about that because I wanted, that was a manga I was actually looking forward to getting, but I don't see it. We have Dan the Dan. I look, you do want to get this because I've heard so many people talking about it and how it's a come up. So, that may be. I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to put it back, but we're going to see. Maybe I might have a change of heart. So, but for now, we're going to put this back. But Dan the Dan, I've heard good stuff about it. So, one day I'll check it out, if not today. Black Clover. I gave him my first volume to my cousin, bro. Shout out to him. He, he's a big Black Clover fan. I gave my first volume away to him. So, and then I think I'm gonna just wait till Black Clover releases the box set because it's just a lot of volumes to buy. And I think it's better for, uh, for the box set to come out first. But one thing is Blue Lock, though. I got the first three volumes. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna get the fourth or the fifth, but it's the second. Yeah, I only see, okay, I don't see four or five, I see six. So it looks like some people got them already. That's the case. There we go, Baruto, you know. The manga's amazing. I uh, you know the anime kind of throws people off a little bit, but the manga is pretty good, so if you can get a chance to get that, get into that. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm, let's talk about this, let's talk about this, look. So, this is Berserk. Now, I am a, uh, I don't want to say I'm a hater of Berserk. I do think that Kento uh, Miura, he does, I've heard about Berserk, you know, obviously it's all around in the manga man, uh, community. If you know any manga, you know about Berserk. It's probably one of the greatest manga of all time. So, I've been putting it off for so long, you know. I don't, I think today, maybe the day that, I get Berserk. Uh, I've gotten so many people telling me that I need to read Berserk. It's good. It's great. You should check it out. You know, I've always been uh, a Kingdom fan, a Villain Saga fan, uh, 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 and stuff like that. So, or a Vagabond fan. I've been reading that online. I think today we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, first volume of Berserk. I think it's worth getting. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the uh, put it in the cart. You see the deluxe versions down there. I want to get the first volume to see if I like it. You know, and who knows? Maybe one day. 
I got Akita. I wouldn't buy the singles, I'd buy the box set because the box set is very beautiful. It's an amazing box set. It's very nicely designed. So I would definitely check out the box set. No. Yo, I'm okay. I'm mad because this is volume two and I want volume one. I've been reading a Yashimon. It's actually already I wouldn't say it's a finished manga, it actually got cancelled by Shonen Jung, which was, it was actually a very popular manga that got cancelled. This is volume 2 of a Yashi Moon. It's about, basically it's about like a kid who wants, it's about a kid who wants to be a manga hero protagonist. So he trains and does all everything that the manga characters do, and stuff like that. And, uh, I would have bought, bought this if this was volume 1, but it's only volume 2. And like I said, I'm not a person that just gets a volume ahead. I got If I'm gonna get it, I, I'm gonna read it instantly. So maybe if I see a volume one, we're gonna get it. But for now, I'm gonna leave that there for somebody who already has volume one and wants volume two. All right, let's spin back around this way because stuff right here. Nice little setup. Honey, honey, good, 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 good. So, nice little stuff. Check it out. Let's see. I'm looking for uh, Gunsaga Volume 11. So let's see if they got Volume 11. Let's see if they got Volume 11. Let's see if they got Volume 11. Yo. I was not expecting this little. This is ridiculous. We have Tokyo Avengers 11 through 12. Instant buy. Like, this was. I would have mentioned this at the beginning of the video had I not forgotten that Tucker Avengers Volume 11 through 12 was recent, like already. I did not know that because I have nine, I have everything up to nine and ten. Now we got 11 and 12. That's this is amazing. And they got Welcome to Demon Slayer on the This is one of my more enjoyable uh, animes. I like it's something you can turn on. And when you just have something doing, like you just want something to numb the brain a little bit, turn on Welcome to Demon School of Romacan. Um, it's that it's like a nice little just nice little watch. I'm not gonna lie. Because of the nostalgia I have for it and because I like it, I think we might as well go ahead and support the author, Osama Nishi. We're gonna go ahead and get both two watches. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we should go ahead and get both two. I think, I think. I'm gonna let it sit while we walk around and look a little bit more. And if I want to put it back, I'll put it back. But I think that I'm gonna go ahead and get these first two volumes. Looking for anything that I specific that stands out to me. I do see Witch Hatteria right there. It's a nice little story. I haven't really gotten into it, but I did hear good things about it. So maybe one day that'll be a, a buy or a look into. But right now, we're looking. We're gonna move for some other stuff. Let's see what we got right here. Soul Eater. I actually need a volume four unless it's behind it. No. Nope. nope. I only got six. I need volume four, so I guess no Soul Eater deal. And that's volume one. What else we got? Hmm. Okay, here's a one of my favorite my sec. Mm. It's a tie-in for Mushoko Tensei and, and Recurring as a Slime. Uh, I've actually need volume 11 because I got volume 10, 1 through 10 of Recurring as a Slime. Uh, it's very it's a great isekai anime. Um, it's not like the regular ones. Usually what a regular isekai anime do is that they just have an overpowered main character and he does everything. But Recurring as a Slime does a good job of bringing all characters in that world into the story and I think that's why it's such a standout series in the isekai uh, genre so you know if we saw volume 11 that would have been a buy but we don't see it today so people in the comments let me know about Toilet Bound Hanukkah I see that it is a very as you see they have so many of them I know that it had a good run for a little while um if it's popular, if it's popping still, if it's very good read, let me know in the comments, man, because I do think I want to get into it. But, um, but yeah, we'll see. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see what else we got. Good old Sakamoto days. I haven't even read three or four, so I gotta wait on that to get a five, six. I know they got all the way up to eight. So it's really it's, it's popping off from Rafe. When the anime comes off, I know it's gonna do work because like it's so popular and I think it does have a good story. I just need to lock in and actually read it. So hopefully, you know, soon I'll be able to lock in and read that. But uh, Shaman King, you know, that's always good, but I got so much of it that I haven't even read yet. Angel Beat Skip. Undoubtedly. Probably the anime that has the worst second season and it's so sad because first season was great. The manga is great, but the anime ruined it for me and I and it's I just can't get into I can't get into the manga. And I know that shouldn't be the case of why, but I'm sorry, like I'm not that good at separating the anime and the manga, so if the anime is bad, it's gonna leave a sour taste in my mouth to read that manga. So I'm sorry to everybody that is a big Promise Neverland fan. It was good. I used to read it, but I can't no more. Um, Pokemon Adventures. I never really just read it. I just like the color palette of it. And so usually I just get like volume. I need volume three. I just like the color palette of how it looks because when I put it on the shelf, it does look kind of beautiful and stuff like that. So, but um, I'll say yeah. Hmm. Ah, Sabiki Disco. Was a good anime, I believe it came out. Oh, well, that's more. Uh, this one's damaged. Gotta hate when the books are damaged. You can see it's been turning a little bit, but um, it's actually great. Uh, this is a light novel, too. So, a well, great anime, too. Uh, it was very fun. It was a very fun watch and read. It was like a more dystopian type of um, apocalyptic type of manga. We had a nice little, it had a nice trait where the mushrooms like like toxic or something like that. Like, if anybody can me, remember. Let me know, but I believe it's something like that. But. Let's see. What else we got? PTSD. PTSD Radio. The cult horror hit from the creator of one comes from an unseen hand tugs at your braid. You find an old sealed box with a tangled mess of dark hair inside and hallway outside your room. Okay. Well, as you see, it got three volumes, so it must be okay. This has a nice art style. It's unique. Whoa, look at that panel. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would not want to see that in my dreams, bro. Okay. I don't know. It looks. It. This kind of reminds me. And sorry to anybody that is a fan and they think I'm disrespecting him, but this kind of reminds me of Junji Ito, um, and his type of vibe. And I feel like this is a story that he would make. This is made by Masaki Nakayama. This reminds me of like a Junji Ito uh, like, uh, manga. So, and they got like two, three volumes of it too. That's neat. Mm-hmm. What else? Uh, like I said, man, this Barnes and Noble, it's, it's, I do kind of enjoy this one. It just has such a small, not as big manga selection, so hopefully. You know, as it expands some more, they just get bigger and stuff like that. But I think we have seen what I wanted to see in the manga section. So, to all the comic book viewers out there, let's go ahead and move on to the comic book section. Let's go. So this is one of the sections that take like a lot. You feel me? Um, it's it's uh, it's some good stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you. I I usually just like to come look at them and stuff because. Um, what is, where is it at? Invincible. I got like the first three volumes I've been reading the comic. I haven't got into the, um, I haven't gotten to the full thing yet. I, I mean, obviously I'm waiting for season two of Invincible. It's coming out this year, so shout out to Invincible, man. I'm ready for that. Such a great cartoon, because it is a cartoon, but such a great show. Um, so I'm ready for that. And, you know, sometimes you just come over here, like, look, you'll see stuff like this, Lock and Key. Uh, I know that was a Netflix series, a hit Netflix series. It's really good. Uh, what else? You got just comics down here. Walking Dead, Black Widow, all that. Hold on, let's make sure we got the little condo files. Uh, includes content from 22 movies of Marvel Studios. <laughs> My money is not looking like that, but this is this looks interesting. Uh, 
I definitely recommend this to somebody that I know would definitely pick this up. Cause they are a big Black Panther fan and a Marvel fan and all. So but yeah, they just got stuff down here. This like mm -hmm. greatest comics, man. And then we got another section. Where obviously we got the Dungeons and Dragons, D and D, play and whatnot. Right here, Umbrella Academy, the Batman Who Laughs. That is, mm, when I start actually picking up more comics, I'm definitely going to be checking that out because I know that's a good one. Umbrella Academy, I know that was a good um, Netflix series. And I think it's coming out with a new season, so that'll be good. Shout out to the series, man. Um, I think it's coming out next year. It's not coming out this year, but Avatar. They do have the little books right here, so that's neat. With Legends of Korra, people hate on Legends of Korra. I like Legends of Korra, so, you know. See me in the comments, but is what it is. Just stuff like this. Batman, Curse of the White Knight. Shout out to all the Batman fans, bro. It has too much. It has too many new iterations of it all the time, so I, I couldn't keep up. But if you can get into Batman and all the other comics, bro, shout out to you, I just can't keep up. That's me, that is a dragon with more of your stuff. What is this? Hard ears. That looks like stuff that like, just points out to me. Interesting. Okay. This is like a cultural critic Mark Derry famously coined the term Afrofuturism. 1994 African Kennedy community whose past has been deliberately rubbed out and whose energies have subsequently been consumed by the search for eligible traces of his history. Imagine possible futures in the Caribbean, of course it can. Oh, okay. This is nice. This is actually really nice. I'm sure it got great artwork too. I actually, that may be a, like, a lookout for next time. I might get into that and check that out next time. Yeah, Power Rangers type stuff like that. Like any like black comics, African American, whatnot, that those always stand out to me real fast because you can just tell it's not like the usual. And I think it's like stuff like this, I'm sure it's gonna be great. And so, hopefully, you know, I do a good manga raid, comic raid on this type of stuff. This is nice. So, but yeah, man, uh, we got a little bit of stuff this time. Specific standouts for sure is Berserk, that's the standout. One Punch Man Volume 5. I just need to get that because I have Volume 4 already. Welcome to I Demon School to Irumakun. Tokyo Avengers, without a doubt, I was going to get this no matter what. And JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's a good one too. Uh, let me straighten these up because I don't know when you're crushing them like that. But yep. This one was it was a, it was a pretty calm uh, manga little uh, shopping. So hopefully, go ahead and get these. See if there's anything on the way out. And uh, if not, you know this is what we're gonna get today. Alright y'all, so that's that's gonna be it for the um, manga tour, man. This is the first one on the channel. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. We did get a good bit of selection, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the scholarship money. You feel me? Don't don't wait, don't spend all your money on manga, man. Make sure you actually doing good savings. But I wanted to go ahead, it's been a mess I did any manga shopping, so I wanted to go ahead and get some new manga, uh, update the catalog. So hopefully I get to read all of these and I'll also be able to do a few reviews on a, uh, some of these manga that I'm actually reading. I do got some coming out, so y'all stay tuned in for that. And thank y'all for joining me on today's tour. Y'all know how it is. Y'all have a blessed one.